Hello everybody, West Coast Doug here. Today we're going to cut out a couple of the windjacker blades. They were the ones that were up on the turbine across the pool. So we've got our blade down. we got our 6 inch Schedule 35 PVC. It's actually sewer pipe. It comes in green. And we're going to take our windjacker blade as a template, stick it on here, trace it out, do the same thing, trace it out, get rid of that one, and then we're going to go ahead and cut it out. So I'll show you the first cut, and then uh, we'll skip some of it, and go to the next cut. I prefer to use this type of circular saw versus a sidewinder because of the simple fact that I can stay over my work a little bit. And this one actually has a laser on it, which a lot of them do these days, but this one will ensure a straight line on my leading edge. So we just set this a little bit deep, lock her down, and start cutting. Now when you're cutting, you want to make sure that you run all the way through your cut and wear safety glasses, which I'm not. I don't suggest if you've never used power tools to ever try to do this. Your saw doesn't exactly sit flat on your material, so what ends up happening is it rocks a little bit. So you got to have a steady hand. So if you've never used power tools, I don't suggest you do it. So we'll go ahead and cut the rest of it out, and we'll see what she looks like. So what you end up with is uh, two alike blades, and uh, if anybody's interested in templates for these bad boys, go ahead and hit me up and I'll mail you one off. It's a really simple blade to cut, actually. Um, I take off this section right in here because I found that if you leave it high and then as it drops back there, it creates a lot of turbulence, get a lot of vibration. I like a nice smooth blade. So now we have to, sh to finish them off, which will be sharpening this trailing edge and rounding off the leading edge. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Get set up for that and then I'll be right back. So what we're doing now is sharpening up the trailing edge. And all I'm using is a Ryobi electric planer. Set my blade on there. Hold it real steady and you got to go straight. It wasn't very straight, but as you can see, we have a very clean, sharp leading edge on that trailing edge. And what this is going to do is going to reduce uh, the noise that the blade's going to make. So now what we have to do is round off the leading edge. So we'll go ahead and start on that. Alright, we went ahead and took our planer and started our, our round edge by knocking down some of that so we don't have as much to uh, have to take off. So I got a clamp down here. This is going to move a little bit. For the most part it should stay still. This is a grinder. It pulls a lot of RPMs. Easily can get away from you. So if you're not used to or have never used one of these, I suggest you use hand sand it or a palm sander. Fairly safe. These aren't very safe. I've caught my fingers several times. It actually just burns a little bit. It doesn't really cut you. But here we go.
that's pretty good it's fairly round but we need to clean it up with some uh, sandpaper so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back so if you take your paper and just uh, cup it over like so stick it on your blade and go it's gonna round that edge off real nice nice and rounded so now all that's left to do is uh, paint her up we might put a little bit sharper edge here it's it's nice and sharp but I'm thinking we might want to bring it down just a hair maybe twice what it is so that we can uh, ensure a nice sharp edge on there so I'll be right back so when you're done you should end up with a couple of guys that look just like this like I said before, this is the Windjacker blade. Uh, rightfully owns that name. But uh, if anybody needs a template, I'd be happy to send it out to you. If you want to get a closer look here, get that edge nice and sharp from that planer. And then your round leading edge. Very nice. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that windjacker blade is no joke it is quite fast and it's just a two blade rig but anyways it's west coast doug later <laughs>